often we get asked questions, I get asked questions in regard to platelet-rich plasma because it's getting a lot of press. Doctors who are who do a lot of prolotherapy, who are experts in prolotherapy, can get almost every condition better by other solutions that we use with prolotherapy. So the times we have to use platelet-rich plasma is actually very little. If you don't do prolotherapy and you just, you know, have a uh, Platelet-rich plasma is one type of injection therapy that you can do. Like you don't do the full gamut of prolotherapy, then yeah, you're going to just use platelet-rich plasma on everybody, which is a great tool to have and it's a great improvement over cortisone. But a doctor who has a lot of experience with prolotherapy has a lot of different solutions. Traditionally, platelet-rich plasma has been used in for tendinopathy. So just so you know, before there was platelet-rich plasma, I can't even remember one patient that we couldn't get better with tendinosis with the normal prolotherapy solution. So I'm happy to use platelet-rich plasma, and I use platelet-rich plasma, and I probably have just about as much as experience as anybody in the country using platelet-rich plasma, but it's only a small segment of the chronic pain or acute pain population that needs platelet-rich plasma. I want to talk about the shortcomings of platelet-rich plasma because a lot of people don't realize it. First of all, most pain is not very localized. Most people who have pain have a very big diffuse area of pain. So here I'm just going to show for a model. Let's just say somebody has back pain. So you have uh, low back pain. So this, the disc area is over here. This is the sacroiliac joint, sacroiliac joint. So in other words, this is a big area. You can see like my fist. You know, and then if you have some pain over here, you know, it's a humongous area. So normally, the amount of solution that I would inject into this area as a Hemwall Hackett prolotherapy doctor would be on the order of 80 to 100 cc's of solution. Most uh, platelet-rich plasma kits, they give you about four cc's of solution. So if, if, a, if a pers an athlete or a person with chronic pain needs 100 cc's of solution injected into them, you know, platelet-rich plasma, it's not going to be enough. Now, if you have a very small, discrete area of tendon degeneration, like in your Achilles, yeah, you could do regular prolotherapy or you could do platelet-rich plasma prolotherapy. But there's very few people who, even in the shoulder, they're going to say, like, my whole shoulder hurts. So a person needs the back of the shoulder done, the top of the shoulder, or the front of the shoulder. So in Hemwall Hackett prolotherapy, this might be 40 cc's of solution. So most platelet-rich plasma systems give you, you know, 4 cc's. Some of them will give you like 12 cc's of solution. So even for a shoulder, which is a much smaller joint than the whole neck or the whole back or the whole knee, uh, it's not enough solution. So platelet-rich plasma is good for localized, very localized discrete injuries like in a tendon. However, if a person has joint instability, so in other words, the, the person has knee pain and the knee joint is loose or the sacrum, sacroiliac joint is loose. For, so for joint instability, you have to use solutions that are very good for the ligaments. And I haven't seen platelet-rich plasma be that great for the ligaments. So for ligament injuries, you know, I would re definitely recommend Hemwall Hackett prolotherapy.